code is a um, action. It is also a command to make something or someone do something. Heritage is special because it, it teaches you coding. Like if you want to be a scientist, like you can code robots. First, you have to put the green flag, and then you have to go to control. Then you have to go to motion to find the thing that you spin around. We're learning to code some language called Scratch. We're working on a project. We were coding it to like move with the keypad, with the controls. I think the best is that when you get to finish your coding, because once you finish, then you could finally test it, and then I'm going to be proud of myself. We view computer code similar to, to written and spoken languages like Spanish and Vietnamese, which are the primary languages in our district. So just as we have dual immersion programs for those languages, we've brought into play this year a dual immersion program uh, to teach kids the, the language of technology. Our teachers have been working with Code to the Future. They've been given very strategic and targeted um, professional development in order to support our students as they transition into the world of computer science. And it's been very exciting. Our students are um, integrating technology into math and science and social science into all areas. And they're actually um, figuring out ways to integrate technology that we haven't even thought of. Coding is the language of technology. And so when we talk about learning another language, that's an asset for students in the future. By learning the language of technology, that's an asset for wherever they'll go in the future. I think that it's fundamentally a moral imperative to make sure that students that may not have otherwise had the opportunity are getting an opportunity to learn these skills as early as kindergarten. What's special about Heritage is that we are the first school in our district to teach computer science as a second language. The students, when they walk into class, they're able to go in and use the technology and they can use it um, academically and they can use it to, to support their learning and enhance their learning. We started coding this year and it's something that it's neat to see that even kindergartners can do. It can really start at a very basic level and it's them really just learning how to use uh, different problem solving type skills and learn how to work together um, with their other classmates, uh, which we know will be great for them in their futures to know how to work with one another and problem solve. I'm the best one because I could sign into Scratch. I could even figure out what they're doing. I could even figure out how to sign in. If my friend needs help, I could even do that. Second word. What does that mean? We're using technology with language arts, um, mathematics, and of course the coding. Um, language arts, they're collaborating, uh, responding to um, each other's questions or taking notes. My favorite subjects are math and coding. Math because I already know negative numbers in second grade, and coding because I like to um, fix the bugs and stuff. The connection between math and coding is that um, that you that you problem solve in both of them. When I walk classrooms now, it is electric. Um, students who hadn't been engaged in the past, they are not only engaged, but they are now the leaders and the facilitators of their groups. They are their shining stars that hadn't been shining prior. The students have already exceeded our expectations from what they would be able to accomplish. They're already moving on to more complicated coding activities in the classroom. It's a very good problem to have. Our sixth graders that leave Heritage will be prepared to take the uh, advanced placement computer science exam that the same students as seniors will take. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Computer science goes beyond just the IT sector. It's changing and transforming industries from the automotive industry, from the healthcare, from agriculture. You can look industry by industry and sector by sector and it's transforming the way that we work. I would think my future would be um, more advanced than other people at other schools because we get to have more time on the computers. I feel really lucky to be in the school so I, th I think this is the best school for me. While we don't necessarily know um, who the Apples and Googles of 
you know, 15 or 20 years out might be, we do know that the products that they create are going to be driven by code. Learning coding is learning the language of technology. It's the language of the world. Coding is important for the future because if there wasn't coding, uh, and if you wanted to be a scientist to put a robot, what could you code it to do if you haven't done nothing about coding? This is the part where I actually get to learn more about coding, and so I could actually um, to help do, do my dream of uh, making the world a better place.